So we're still here at uh, Yacht Haven Marina and today is Q&A day. Been a couple days here relaxing, doing some repairs and maintenance on the boat and uh, generally just winding down, getting used to life aboard. Some of you have recently written in comments asking for more information about the boat. You'd like to know a bit about life aboard and the systems that make it possible for me to be out sailing around on my own. So today I'm going to give you a quick tour of some of the major areas and pieces of the boat. Right, so we're going to start all the way at the front of the boat, uh, otherwise known as the bow, up in the V-berth, um, sometimes called the forepeak. Lots of strange words when it comes to boats. Uh, this is an area which is used for storage and also for sleep because there is a berth up here. Um, berth is another word for a bed. This area of the boat also contains a section for storage which I use for clothes and some of my diving equipment um, both in a cabinet here and also underneath the berth where you're sleeping as well. Up here is also where we have access to the heads, uh, which is the nautical term for the bathroom. Uh, the head contains a toilet, a marine toilet, which is a manual pump, and also the showers. As we move back into the boat, we come to a section called the saloon. Um, some people I think might pronounce that the salon, but basically this is the largest center cabin on the boat and makes up the largest living space also contains the galley, which is the kitchen, and a navigation area, uh, sometimes referred to as a nav station. Areas here in the saloon can be turned into a sleeping arrangement. Uh, it's a small double bed, which can sleep two people in a pinch, but more comfortably sleep one, and when not in use can be converted back into a plain sofa type area for sitting. In the galley, we have all the basics that you'd expect to find in a normal kitchen. There is a stove, there is a deep freezer, there is a smaller refrigerator compartment, there's also a sink with fresh water, and areas for storage of food preparation tools and all the ingredients that we can use to cook aboard. The nav station is uh, typically where you do navigation and also you have a lot of the controls that you use to turn on and off various systems within the boat. Uh, the one on board of my boat contains the radio, VHF radio, I store my computers here, my charts are here, and there is an electrical control board which is used to turn off all the electrical items on, on and off all the electrical items on the boat. Synchronicity is what is known as a center cockpit design, which means that instead of the area from which the driving of the boat is done being at the very far back, which is which is pretty typical, uh, the cockpit and the wheel are actually at the center of the boat. Uh, what this does is create an aft cabin, and that aft cabin is connected by a tunnel walkthrough, which uh, you kind of have to bend down in order to get through there. Um, but that does allow you to get back and forth to the two sections of the boat pretty easily. Uh, last but not least, we arrive at the aft cabin. This is the furthest point back inside the boat. And back here we have two separate berths. One is a single and one is a double, along with various storage space. a couple of specific questions from people who've been watching the videos, uh, which I'll answer now. Uh, Tarkan Kurt one asks a couple of questions. How are you going to manage battery life? Don't you get dizzy using a computer editing on board? And do the hardware, does the hardware get affected by the humidity uh, and the environment? 
boat has two means of generating electricity. One is the diesel engine, which has an alternator, um, same as you would generate electricity in your car. And the other is via a solar panel array. Uh, it's two 270 watt panels connected into what's called an MPPT controller. And that uh, is actually where the bulk of the power on the boat comes from. Those two panels here in the Thai sun can output a tremendous amount of power to run devices and recharge our house batteries every day. Tarkin Kurtz, uh, next question is, don't I get dizzy using a computer or editing aboard the boat? Um, yeah, I think that this is an issue uh, if you've only been on the boat for a short period of time, but after a few days, uh, you tend to get acclimated so that the motion of the boat and being inside the boat working on a computer um, is something that you can do without feeling seasick or dizzy. And his next question is regarding equipment uh, in the sea air environment. He wants to know whether or not it's affected by the humidity. And um, absolutely, everything that you bring onto the boat tends to get rusty if it's not uh, made for the marine environment. And that includes computers, cameras, tools, any kind of electronics. Um, so this is a constant battle that people who are on boats uh, have to deal with making sure that the equipment that they have is designed and rated and made from the materials necessary for it to survive at sea. Questions from a user named Paim, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, who wants to know about sleeping conditions and food storage. Since I've already given an overview of the berths, the places where we sleep aboard the boat, um, I'll just give a quick look into food storage on the boat. Um, as I mentioned, we have two refrigerators. One is 12 volt and the other one is driven by the engine. The engine driven one is a deep freezer, um, so we put longer term storage items into that. The 12 volt fridge is used as a, as a refrigerator, so it doesn't get quite as cold, and we tend to keep uh, you know things that we consume more frequently in there. I hope that that uh, provided some answers that were interesting to you guys about living and working aboard the boat. I feel like I probably left some stuff unanswered, so if you've got some questions that you'd uh, like answers to that I didn't cover, then please feel free to leave those in the comments. Further to the question about editing on the boat, you know, one of the nice things about hanging out here at Yacht Haven Marina is that I can stay up here in the cafe where they have fast internet and a comfortable work environment. Uh, while I'm doing videos and putting together answers for you guys.